Hello, today I'm going to be talking about how vlogging can take a turn for the worst. So today, vlogging makes it possible for anyone to just sit a few inches away from their favorite makeup and beauty artist and feel like they're learning everything they want to know about them. This connection can be a profitable one as people gamble their numbers of low subscribers into hundreds of thousands of dollars in sponsorships as well as multi-million dollar cosmetic lines. It's also a questionable one though, as a handful of online beauty community's brightest stars have recently learned. A web of drama between creators and rival fan groups boiled over into a scandal about racism, online archives, and influential creators being responsible for their offensive online past. Laura Lee, who is a beauty YouTuber who recently had more than 5 million subscribers, lost nearly half a million of her channel's followers in just a week and a half after fans of one of her ex-friends, who is also a famous beauty YouTuber, uncovered some old, racist, and fat-shaming tweets on her account. After those revelations, Laura Lee quickly deleted all of her tweets and did not respond to multiple Washington Post requests for comments from her. On Twitter, she said two viral racist tweets claiming that they were both fake. Her tweet stated, tip for all black people, if you pull your pants up, you can run faster from the police. Hashtag, hashtag you're welcome, back in 2012. And also in 2013, she posted several fat shaming tweets. She apologized on Twitter for ignorant tweets that I made back in 2012 and then apologized again in a video that following Sunday night, which opens with her loudly crying. Throughout the four minute video, she stated apologetically that she was so sorry. I'm so sorry to you guys. I'm so sorry for disappointing you. It hurts me so bad to disappoint you all who have supported me for so many years. I know that I'm a better person than that. The apology was seen to many online as insincere and incomplete. Her words may also be too late. The week-long scandal has made Laura Lee's name even more famous than it was before, but for all the wrong reasons. Companies like Ulta Beauty announced through Twitter that they have decided to not move forward with the launch of Laura Lee Los Angeles, that they value equality and inclusivity in all that they do. Other companies such as BoxyCharm, which is a beauty subscription service, posted a video on their Facebook page saying that they in no way support what she has said. They go on to say that they don't understand how someone can tweet so something so harsh like that. People like Laura Lee go to show that you really do have to be careful about what you share throughout your media platforms due to having such a big following audience. Companies that have paired with her are quick to turn the opportunities they have set forth together due to such things like this that they take very, very seriously. Vlogging shows no signs of slowing down and actually continues to be on the rise, being one of the most popular forms of media today, with more and more people taking up the hobby of videoing themselves. But people need to be more aware of the times we live in today while posting their media. Using racial slurs, fat shaming, or showing signs of homophobia can really hurt your fan base as well as these vloggers' careers as a whole. Many people who vlog and are big stars like Laura Lee can really be impacted by things they say even if they are in the past. This led to her fan base going up for the wrong reasons, her losing business partnerships, as well as her reputation being affected forever. Vloggers who are on the rise need to be more cautious in the future to not hurt themselves or anyone watching for that sense. Thank you for listening.